Everything is okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Come on, get up. Come on, get up. You're okay. Come with me. Just come. It's okay. Que porra vocês estão fazendo? A justiça local? Que porra você acha que é falando com meus homens assim? Você acha que tem o direito de matar as pessoas a sangue frio, Becker? Cala a boca, cuzão! Continua dando multas. Não põe o nariz onde não é chamado. Vamos! Ajuda, cara. Chama uma ambulância! Me ajuda. Puta que pariu. Você fez bem, Max. You say so. Don't look so good. Hey, what could be better, huh? The good guys are reunited, and the Commando Sombra are dead. I guess. So who's this guy? I don't know. Some kind of cop. A different branch of the police. Not Ufe, but uh, normal cops. I don't know about this stuff. Politics. Everywhere politics. Shit, Max, you look kind of beat up. Let's get this lot home, and then I'll, I'll get you home, too. Come on. Back home, it was time for some R&R, &R, the only way I knew how. I guess I was ready for bed. <laughs> A couple of days later, it was back to work. Ferrying the boss's broad and his dipshit of a brother out for the night so they could recover from their brush with mortality. Then again, what did I expect? These were the kind of people who went to nightclubs in helicopters. Fabiana had brought her sister along, presumably so she could show off just how rich and empty her life was. And boy, was she about to learn the meaning of rich and empty. Max! Max! I was speaking to you! Sorry, what was that? Oh, I was saying we get into a lot of scrapes, man. <laughs> well, we're still here. Hey. Thanks to you, Max. I owe you my life. Boom. It wasn't just him, huh, baby? Oh, yes, Marcel. I'm sure you did a lot to save everyone. You were probably worried about getting blood on your stash. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Thank you, Max. I don't know what I would do without my sister. Mmm, spend even more time doing something useful. <laughs> you know she works in the favela. She's the good sister. Oh, shut up. <laughs> what did you hear, Baba? More bodies turned up where people went missing. But it's horrifying. Did someone say Buzz Q? Hey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is a cool town, man. Hey, here we are. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> I love this view. Real chill place to hang, you know? Do a little business, have some fun. I need it too. I've been working far too hard. Like a whore during Fleetchy Weeky, as my roommate used to say. <laughs> you like that, Max? That's pretty funny. Fabiana! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that 
glad you are still with us. Come, I heard what happened. I've missed you. I would have called, okay. but you know how it is. Didn't want it to bother you. Okay. Hey, Marcel. Marcel. I think I might have an interesting investment for your brother. Well, call him up, homie. I haven't seen him I'm for a while. Of course. Last week was Fashion Week. My God. Egypt, but so beautiful. You know Anastasia? Oh, yeah, I know Anna. <laughs> This kind of place made me want to puke. I needed a real drink to deal with the electronic music and the robotic people. Fucking monkey from a fucking slum. He acts cool with me. What's that? Nothing. Say, Max, you're a man of the world. What are you fucking doing, man? About what? What do you do about life? Look at me, I'm standing in a nightclub, listening to music I can't stand. I'm 5,000 miles from home, I'm armed and I'm drinking. You don't want to listen to advice from me, amigo. <laughs> oh, Max, I love you, man. You're fucking real, you know? Oh, shit, people. Fuck them, people get me wrong. <sighs> I think... I think I love a wrong woman. Oh, excuse me. Fabio! Fabio! Oh, oh, oh. Thank God he had left. A minute more of his drivel and I would have had to put a bullet in him myself. It soon turned out I wasn't the only one. <laughs> surprise. It's hard to keep your eye on the ball through the bottom of a glass. I just hoped I could get to Fabiana and Giovanna in time. The doors had been chained shut. I didn't need my Portuguese for beginners phrase book to work out what was going on. The guy making the noise was the boss. He was sending them around to cut me off from the other side. And sure enough, a few seconds later, I had some company on the dance floor. There had to be another way out through the VIP lounge. Rich fools love a private exit. It was your typical trendy hellhole. A playground for the overpreened and undernourished. Sushi and house music and vodka. A place you don't get through the door unless you're rich, beautiful, or, in this instance, it seemed, a heavily armed psychopath.
Poor bastard's name was Claudio. I found out later he was a pretty big shot soccer player for the Galatians. Some nearly superstar just back from Europe. The usual. Scored goals, scored girls. The only box he'd be getting into now was the one he'd be leaving in. I remembered there was a patio upstairs. But the only thing I'd managed to clock in that place was the smoking area. 